Allison with Lay Madeline, and today we are going to make a crispy tart shell out of puff pastry. All right, so we have our dough. It's a little bit thick. So if you've bought a store-bought kind of dough, then it's going to be a little too thick. So we want to roll it a little bit thinner. We're going for about a quarter of an inch. So we're going to roll it into a square. There we go. I'm going to check. Yep, it's about a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to take my tart shell. And the dough is actually, it's very delicate, but not as delicate, so don't be afraid. So I'm going to fold it in quarters. And I'm going to do that to get it over to my tart shell. And that way I can place it back in there and unfold it, and it's, it's halfway done already. I'm going to tuck it into the corners because, you know, you want your tart shell to have nice square bottom. Take your time. Try to do it in a coolish room. If you tend to have warm hands, you can always have a Ziploc bag of ice water next to you that you can touch and then go back to touching the dough. That way you don't melt it. You do want to work quickly, but it's not a panic kind of a situation. All right, so when I know that I've gone all the way around and I've pushed in my corners, I can take my knife and you don't want to press against it because you'll seal off your layers. So you want to use a knife to cut through the layers and that way you'll still be able to see them as it bakes. And I'll show you what I mean when we're done. Okay, so when you've cut all the way around and you've got it nice and square into your corners, save your scraps neatly so that you can still roll them out and not lose those layers that you or somebody else worked really hard to get. And that's great for making palmier or a tart tatin an upside down apple tart. Okay, so I've got my crumply paper and I'm just going to stick it in the middle of the tart shell. And this is gonna weigh it down. But puff pastry is just that, it puffs up. So you want to keep it from puffing up as much as you can. And I've got the rice up about two thirds of the way. And it's actually gonna kind of create a little bit of a, of a lip, which is great because that'll help keep our filling from overflowing, depending on what, you, what kind of filling you wanna use. Now I'm just gonna put it on the tray. That'll be easier to maneuver in your oven than trying to hold it from the sides. We're gonna bake it at um, 375. And it's gonna take about 45 minutes, so don't panic that it's taking too long. It's really actually very hard to burn puff pastry, so d don't worry. Um, the thing that's really important when you're baking anything out of puff pastry is to bake it all the way through. Otherwise, those layers in the middle will just stay gummy and they won't have that light and flaky texture that's really the whole point of this kind of dough. So we're gonna pop it in the oven. And I'm gonna rotate it in about 20 minutes. So after you've baked it, it's gonna take about 45 minutes. You pull it out of the oven and I've already taken it out of the tart mold, but you can see that it is brown all the way across the bottom and that's how I know that it's fully baked. In fact, I can even see through the top that it's nice and brown. So this is gonna be nice and crispy for whatever we decide to put inside there. And here's the beautiful thing about puff pastry. You can see all those layers. And so it's gonna just be nice and flaky and buttery in there. It's gonna be awesome. And so there you have it, a crispy puff pastry tart shell. Isn't it great?